Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Chika Omama. I'm a Chief Research Scientist and Agent of Medical Research in Yaba, Lagos. I'm more of a genomics expert, um, MS and PhD in cell biology and genetics. And I have been doing a lot of genomics work on humans and also on pathogens. As an agent of medical research, I lead my own research team, uh, the Population Genomics and Cancer Group. We work on four key areas, population genomics and epidemiology, cancer and genotoxicity, diagnostic asset development, and then bioinformatics. So these key four areas is what we focus on. In the, in the past, we've done a lot of HIV DR work. In fact, as early as 2008, I've been working on HIV drug resistance. In 2019, Nigeria had a national survey here for HIV and different uh, HPV and HCV. And we did the HIV drug resistance for that, for the naive study. Also, we've done recently done a study that we are writing up on HIV, uh, human papilloma virus among women. We sampled in three geopolitical zones of Nigeria in the south, southwest, southeast, south, south. And we are trying to write up what are the genotypes we see and what uh, that means for the vaccines and what it means for what causes cancer among women in Nigeria. And then during the COVID pandemic, I developed the assay, the first. Uh, the indigenous assay for Nigeria, SARS-CoV-2 isothermal molecular assay that would detect COVID in 36 minutes. And it was supposed to be to help us decentralize testing and then anybody can test from anywhere. That was the first assay Nigeria developed and then it was publicized and we're looking forward to being scaled up everywhere. On our ongoing projects, we have a bit more of everything here and there still in that four key areas. So in the population uh, genomics um, and uh, epidemiology, we are looking at different human loci that affect the, um, how we see COVID, the manifestation of COVID. For instance, some people have it, it's asymptomatic. Some people have it, it's severe. Some people have to go to hospital and be on a, on a ventilator. So what is causing all of that? Recently, there was a publication abroad that listed 13 different areas in the human gene that affect that. We want to see how it is for us. Maybe that's what causes us to mostly have asymptomatic COVID. We are also looking at what is causing preeclampsia among pregnant women, and particularly not just the pregnant women, also high uh, blood pressure among the young people, trying to decipher what could be the genetic predisposition for that and what could possibly lead to the cure. On the, on the uh, diagnostic aspect, we are developing and field testing currently, an assay that uh, detects the top 10 causes of febrile illness. So when a child or someone comes to the hospital for, for fever, we can diagnose from the top 10 causes of fever in about 36 minutes and then we can know what to do and treat the person correctly. Also we are having this drug resistance assay that we are study we are doing across eight countries in West Africa supported by Timo Fisher. It's a pilot study trying to look at HIV drug resistance among pregnant women because we, in Nigeria we found that 48% of newborns have uh, HIV drug resistance. Now if we are having that high level of drug resistance we cannot get to the HIV free generation. So we need to stop that drug resistance in their mother so they don't transmit to the children and then that led to this study. So we are looking at it in Nigeria and eight West African countries trying to reduce drug resistance among the mothers so that when they give birth, they give birth to children who are negative and then we start cutting off HIV and we get to the HIV drug with a free day generation. And finally, we are also looking at some of these things, the bioinformatic aspect of it. We have about 2,000, 2,000 sequences of HIV. We are looking at quite a lot of them. There are polymorphisms we see in our strains around here, but they are just called polymorphisms. Maybe some of them could be influencing some of the things that uh, drug resistance for HIV. So we are trying to look at some of those bioinformatically. Also for TB, there is a study we are doing with US uh, CDC. We work with US CDC, we work with China CDC, we are working with different collaborators, even Emory University. Um, on the TB program, we are trying to look at eight genes. Trying to instead of doing single point uh, change in, in mutation that affect a TB drug resistance, we are sequencing the gene region and we are trying to look at is it beyond just one mutation that is affecting this drug resistance and then we can advise the government. It's a pilot that would be very good if we get something out of it, it can now help inform everybody around the, the Africa and those that have, have a high TB burden because Nigeria is a high TB burden area. And we have uh, quite a lot of collaborators in. Uh, I, I remember even Professor Gupta in uh, Cambridge, people in UK, um, US, that we are working with in different areas. 
and we also open to potential collaborators in these five areas, four areas I mentioned, population genomics and epidemiology, talking about virus or pathogen surveillance, or human loci, checking the appeal dispersion to cancer or whatever the disease may be. And then we're talking about cancer and gene toxicity. So we're looking at mitochondrial DNA, some of my MSC PhD students are looking at mitochondrial DNA, some are looking at anoploidy, trying to see how these things affect uh, genome instability and what that can lead to. And then we're looking at the diagnostics as a development program, making diagnostics that are amenable for all things in, in West Africa and even in Africa in the low and middle income countries where we can actually do molecular testing reliably in a short while using a small um, equipment and then we can have our results and it come out fast. And finally to look at what are the genomes we are getting from all of these population genomics, trying to look at them and backtrack. So if we see them, we can develop better develop assays that can pick up our strains well and look at other things. Are there things that could be causing resistance or different things? that we are overlooking because it's not elsewhere and we can begin to pick out some things from there. We look forward to working with you. Thank you.